If you are really interested to learn Blender and want to create some amazing modern CG art then check out our course which is Modern CG Art. It's available now. The link will be in my video description. Thank you. Hey guys what's up and best ready here and welcome back to another excited element 3D tutorial. If you wanna make some amazing green screen animation with some 3D object just stick with this tutorial till the end and believe me guys you will really learn something new and something exciting with this tutorial so without any more delay let's get started the tutorial so recently i got a email from the phone pay which is an upi payment system in india and i am from india and my name is naren i got an email from the phone pay they are actually advertising about the international travel and their benefits they are offering on that email i got a picture famous actress inside uh, india who is alia bhat and i seen the picture i actually i did not uh, seen the model first first i seen the design and i really like the design then i thought maybe i can recreate something like this so then i simply uh, you know just open my green screen and just start shooting so let's get started the tutorial so after once you finish uh, once you chroma and if you are worrying about you don't have a chroma i will provide this footage for you guys so you can download and practice if you want to try something so just uh, check our video description every download link will be available on our, in our video description so i will not mention again just keep in mind if you wanna check something just check out in our video description okay enough talking let's get started the tutorial after this NPS okay so once you finished shooting green screen you can just simply drag and, and drop the footage and you know just you can pre-comp and just duplicate that comp here and just apply a key light effect on the ever footage and just select a green screen color and then you can just change final result to screen matte and then you can open screen matte option and play with the clip white and black to create a perfect black and white image which we will use for the luma matte and once you done just select our below footage and change the trick matte to the luma matte and now you have a perfect cut out of your green screen but you can see we have some green screen overlays on our clothes this is called spill so we will apply a advanced spill sub pressure on our footage and this way i will uh, change the method from standard to ultra and this way we will remove all the green spill and that's it and once you done just create a new solid and i will rename it to element 3d for the element 3d effect and then i will create one more for our background and i will use a gradient ramp effect use two color for the background one for lighter light color and one for the darker and the color will be little similar with our suit then i saw uh, some weird white edges on our green screen so i use a linear wipe effect and just make the transition to one just uh, make the transition to one this way i just get rid of this white aces and then i apply element 3d effect on the element 3d layer now it's time for the models which we want so basically sketchfab i'm not advertising sketchfab but it's really good you can try sketchfab there are a bunch of amazing 3d models available so i was downloading just for this particular project what object i need just like i want some suitcase i want some glasses camera plane etc so i downloaded every models and then i bring them back inside blender to make them customize so that i can easily import that inside element 3d because you know element 3d does not support all other format except uh, obj so i make them uh, i export them every model one by one as a obj and then once i done then i simply come back inside element 3d and first i created a plane which will be floor to catch the ambient occlusion and just make the size a little bigger and make them in a group 5 make sure it two sided just go to the group 5 create a group null and, and also create a new camera and make sure to enable element 3d layer now just move our floor layer as you want so once you satisfied just go back inside the scene setup 
import our suze models i'm using suze in the beginning i don't have any idea how i will create some realistic ambient occlusion with my footage because you know i can remove the chroma but i was not too good in vfx so i was i don't have any idea how i will generate some ambient occlusion with my suze on the cg floor so then i thought let's use some 3d model of suze and sneakers and i will place them so basically here if i i will show you if i will guide you i am using 3d models of uh, sneakers and i just make them inside auxiliary channel so basically every group offer element 3d every group offer you 10 auxiliary channels so it mean you can put 10 models and animate them inside any group and you can animate the parameter just like position scale rotation uv offset and even the opacity so once you done just assign channel 1 and channel 2 for the both sneakers and then what i am doing i just simply customizing them i mean simply customizing the position scale and rotation just like our real actual shoes so that it will cast the real ambient occlusion just like our so, so in, by the end I was happy with the look of ambient occlusion then I thought let's use CG suitcase and do the same but I was not able to get exact same model of our real suitcase but I got a similar one but the, that model does not work properly so by the end I used the actual footage and I just customized them to you know just generate the shadow and it looks really good and really believable because it's really the same shadow and the ambient occlusion which original footage have then I simply created a, I simply imported our iPhone model and I apply a cyan material for the base and a white material for the screen and make them in a group one i created a null for group one and with that i just rotate them and position them that iphone where i want then i simply uh, load the plane and all the other model one by one and i assigning them into the custom auxiliary channel just like one for the uh, group two for the whole object and auxiliary channel one for the plane two for the suitcase and auxiliary channel three for the parachute this way i assign all the models has their own auxiliary channel and th this way i can move them individually one by one and i can rotate them i can scale them down i can move them and once everything is done then i simply come back to the output model increase all the sampling and also for making it more believable just like a global illumination effect what i did i increase the gamma to 3 and down the texture gamma to 2 and this way this looks really cool and then i back inside the render setting and down the lightning influence to 11 and i also play with exposure and gamma and then i thought let's try to add some lighting because if you'll clearly see our footage our footage has some orange light some warm light from the left side and a cooler light from the right side so then i use a after effect spotlight and place them in a just like our footage and i play with the intensity and feather and all and this looks really good then i try to play with the background color little more i also increase the ambient occlusion multi sampling because i don't want any noise on the ambient occlusion and i also increase the multi sampling if you used uh, all the groups and uh, if you think the perspective is not the way you want so for correcting the press perspective i am using the world transform parameters to get the feel which i want and once it is done i just added some animation to every uh, object just like i make in the first frame i make everything zero and on the one second make everything size to 100 percent so this way it will go from zero to 100 and it will look like the revealing effect and i also did the same for the rotation just add some keyframe from the first and end and just by selecting everything and press f9 and you can go to the graph editor to edit the graph little more so in starting it will move fast and then it will go slow when everything is done you can check our result is looking super good right and if you're seeing if you are still watching this tutorial thanks a lot guys keep watching just keep watching guys thank you so much let's move on so once your animation is done it's time to add uh, some text so i use a travel with simple extrusion i make them 3d inside element 3d i assign the same materials 
and for the fun i just renamed the name from travel to travel with nps 3d and then i realized omg i have a blogging channel so if you are really interested you can go and check out or i increase the extrusion to give them more depth i enable multi object and added some key on the scale and displacement and also on the rotation so this way it will uh, reveal and rotate just like i want once everything is done then i imported a 3d model of tree because i want to add some tree in the background and just move them and position them as i want and just like other i also give them animation from revealing animation and once everything is done i just make our uh, green screen footage to 3d and just uh, press double a and make sure to off uh, accept light on off this way it will not accept the after effect light and then i created a new null and parented our camera to null so i can add some camera animation and i can i also added the wiggle expression on the camera point of interest so it will look like little bit of handheld then i created a new solid for the background for the floor texture and i used cell pattern effect type crystal and i used some find as it and linear wipe effect to blend and make them a uh, cool texture and i also added a tint effect to make them little give them uh, some color and after everything it looks really cool and by the end i what i did more i added some optical flares warm for the left and cool for the right side and i uh, also added some uh, some uh, color grading by adding some curves selective color and lumetri color effect to you know just play with some saturation and some manipulate some color and by the end you can also apply some sharpening in noise and in the end you can add some motion blur camera depth of field a little more tweaking little more tweaking after many hours of editing this is what i made <laughs> hope you really enjoy the tutorial and uh, i hope you learn something and if this is the case please hit the like button and if you want to check out more tutorial like this just go and check out our channel there are a bunch of amazing element 3d and after effect tutorial available and believe me guys in future i will make more because i have a bigger plan for this channel thanks for your patience thanks for everything Thanks for watching this video. I am NPS 3D and I will see you next time with amazing tutorial. This is it guys. I will see you next time. Peace.